outside of Tycho's uh, actual observatory. They have reconstructed it on the site of the original ruins. Um, I hope you can hear this over all the wind because it's pretty breezy out here. So this is up close and I believe we'll be able to look inside. This is the first structure to be erected for the purpose of being an astronomical observatory in Europe. This, was, this structure was built low to the ground uh, in help to keep, keep the astronomers out of all the wind. It's windy here and over there used, was where his first observatory was which was built into his own personal chateau or castle. Um, the, I, the people who lived on this island were not real fond of Tycho because they thought that this land was theirs and then the king said, no it's not, this belongs to Tycho Brahe now and you all have to work two days a week to support this guy plus pay in taxes. So as you can imagine, they didn't think he was so cool. I'm including this church in the, this video because I think this is probably uh, the only structure on this island that was actually here when Tycho Brahe was here. This is, uh, I think it's St. Saint J Saint James's Church uh, on the island of Venn and I'm going to show you some video from the inside. I couldn't, um, I couldn't talk there because they're setting up for Sunday services. It's not a tourist attraction, it's a church. but. Uh, inside the, according to the guidebooks, the front altarpiece, which I will show you, was donated to the church by Tycho Brahe, and there's a statue of Tycho Brahe in there as well. Um, the, uh, uh, perhaps the donation of the altarpiece, uh, they helped Tycho, uh, uh, perhaps he was trying to uh, make up for how he had come in and taken over these people's islands and put them all to work for his scientific projects. I, I doubt it was enough. <laughs> if, if I were someone on the island of Finn, I don't think that the altarpiece would make up for the fact that I lost one third of my, of my work days to, to work on his projects.